Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Warships Legends. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight we are back in Jean Bart. I think it's been a while since we played a Jean Bart match, but I could be wrong. Um basically, you guys know the deal. I prefer battleships. I can play a lot of different things. I play cruisers, play battleships, play play destroyers. It's all all well and good, but I prefer to play battleships because I enjoy being the center of attention. I know. Crazy. A YouTuber that likes to be the center of attention. <gasps> Newsflash. Water is wet. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys are having a great start to your weekend. It's going to be a gorgeous day here in Ohio. Uh, possibly off and on showers and maybe a little thunderstorm here and there from the, uh, the remnants of the hurricane. But uh, other than that, we needed the rain real bad up here in Ohio, and um, we still need a lot of rain to get out of this drought. We've been in the worst drought that I've ever seen um, here in Ohio this year. It's been so hot and so dry for so long, like it's crazy. Uh, but finally starting to get some rain, uh, we desperately need it. Uh, the farmers and stuff in our area, man, they're going to be struggling this year. So uh, keep keep everybody in, in uh, your thoughts and prayers out there. I know it's it's hard everywhere, but uh, it's got to be hard for those farmers anytime. Like the weather, you can't control the weather, at least not that we're aware of. But you can't control the weather, man, and that's got to be brutal. But uh, And up here in Ohio, because farmers are used to having plenty of water every year and stuff, there's not really any irrigation like a lot of people get. Um, like out west, you'll see them. Those guys have these gigantic like fields or gigantic pivot arms that have like sprinklers and stuff on them. You don't really have that here, uh, at least not in my area. Anyway, farmers are just not that well off. Anyway, uh, I went on a bit of a tangent there, but just just something to consider. Um, but as you guys can see, it is a carrier game, uh, and I'm in the Jean Bart, which is perfectly fine with me. Uh, there are very few ships in the game that I just don't mind getting into a carrier game in. Iowa-class battleships, and pretty much, and there you realize that I accidentally had HE loaded. Not ideal, but hey, we get rewarded with a fire right off the bat. We've already shot down eight planes. Just, just consider that for a moment. But yeah, Jean Bart, Iowa-class battleships, or basically any American battleship, uh, you know, post-Colorado, uh, basically any American battleship is going to be just fine against destroyer or against carriers uh, but the Jean Bart is one of those rare outside the US just absolute behemoths when it comes to shooting down planes and uh, it's lovely but as you can see our fire is sticking which is nice it's, it's always good when you oopsie at the beginning of a match with with having the wrong ammo type loaded and I'm sure I was shooting at a destroyer or something in a previous match or something and that's why I ended up that's almost always why I have HE loaded at the beginning of a match because I always forget about it but I want you guys to pay attention to the mini-map one of the things that I always harp on and there we have the classic oh you can shoot and then it, it disappears and I blow the sh out of that lighthouse <laughs> Poor, poor lighthouse attendant just got absolutely yeeted. You know that that poor man in that lighthouse probably just finished cleaning up, you know. Just get, just got everything cleaned up and low. Oh my god, the carrier's here. Oh, that's good. Oh my, you can't do this. You can't do this, North Carolina. You just can't. <laughs> you can't do this. But uh, North Carolina goes down. Uh, but we're gonna reach out see if we can't touch this Miyoko, but look at this Miyoko is actually paying attention But anyway, one of the things I always harp on I get distracted you guys know the deal But one of the things I always harp on is paying attention to the minimap understanding when you have a an advantage and pushing that advantage I I Recognize relatively quickly when we have an advantage and one of the things that drives me crazy is when other people around me Don't recognize when we have the advantage and don't decide that they need to do anything other than sit behind an island but in this match, it doesn't really matter because, again, games are going to go so quick nowadays, right? Like, it's just not, it's not the old days where every match is 13, 14 minutes, okay? Every match in this game right now is essentially a rawful stomp that is waiting to happen. And everybody likes to understand, likes to try to, like, guess why it happens as we take another shot at the, uh, cheeky shot at the Miyoko. But uh, we're going to try to get through it, of course. RNG says, go f yourself. As we get one one torpedo from an airdrop torp, and it's a flood. It was right on the snoot. 
it's it's to be expected, but don't you worry. We're gonna get our payback, you little turd. Now, as he, he drops us again, I was worried this was going to cause a flood, and of course it does. So now we get to talk about the latest changes to the flooding mechanic, and how I absolutely, positively love it. <laughs> as a battleship main, I gotta say, this flooding change has saved my bacon on so many occasions, it's ridiculous. Because of this exact thing right now. How many times do you take a flood, put the flood out, and then immediately the very next airdrop torpedo gives you another flood as the carrier goes down and we won't have to worry about that little turd much longer. <laughs> but uh, we've got a Leon out here and he is full broadside. We're going to take the shot at him because why not? But one of the things that you don't realize, not only does the floods not hurt as much, they also don't last as long, right? Like it's like a 30 second flood, which is amazing, <laughs> like for real. Like, I, I think people are undervaluing how much the flooding change has just absolutely been a godsend. Especially for those of us who like to be up up close and personal and brawling. Um, especially in carrier games specifically. But, like, the flooding changes is such a huge deal. And I gotta say, thank you to Wargaming for fucking finally doing something about that. Because flooding was horrendous for so long. Like, you take a flood, it is catastrophic right and it's always seems to be worse on battleships because battleships have the long duration damage controls right like we have to wait for our damage control to come back forever so despite being the ships that are the most capable of dealing with floods we also are the ones that as we catch the chappie and of course it's only one shell go figure but it was at least a citadel so we can't complain too much of it but as we, as we, uh, you know, the battleships are the one ship class that is literally suited. The only other one would be carriers, right? They are literally built around survivability. <laughs> and so the fact that, that battleships are actually more penalized by floods than, say, destroyers or cruisers, which makes absolutely no sense in reality. When you think about a destroyer taking a flood, Think of the size of the compartment on a destroyer. How much of the destroyer is that compartment, right? It's gotta be able to be walked around in. Destroyers are inherently much smaller than battleships. So just think about the size of a compartment on a destroyer versus the size of a compartment on a battleship. And so if you have a flooded compartment on a destroyer, it is catastrophic versus a battleship that is literally built around, you know, redundancy and being able to survive that sort of stuff. But anyway, one of the things you're going to notice is I'm paying attention to the minimap. Look at the top left corner. I am the only person on my team that is currently putting myself in a position to attack those people across the map. Now, this is something that a lot of people simply don't do. But as we as we see the bow of the Miyoko come around the corner, we've already got the shot around. He doesn't even know what's about to hit him. Like, he just comes out and disappears. He has no idea. He just... It's one of those... Like, somebody yelled at him, Duck! And he's... He raises his head and goes, what? <laughs> exactly. I don't know if you guys remember those old uh, those old cartoons. I forget what it was. I want to say it was one of the old Disney cartoons. Uh, maybe uh, uh, Merlin or something. I forget. Maybe it was... Uh, but anyway, there, there was one where the, they kept yelling at this guy, this, like, character, to, like, duck. And he just raises his head up. He's like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and then he gets get, get never mind i'm a dork man i that's the bottom line i'm just a dork and i don't know why you guys put up with me but uh, as we've man maneuvered into the center of the map here we have a position where we can potentially help with that far left corner and this is something that people don't do so not only this is a textbook match in showcasing map awareness right like a lot of people just don't have it um, and so these guys aren't aware of the fact that they have a Jean Bart that is it maneuvered into a position where I can perfectly counter them. And this shill is just charging straight into this. Has no idea it's coming. Bonk. Oh, they all fell short. <gasps> Sadness. Come on, Spartan. Don't ram, please. Don't ram. Oh, God. Monarch didn't ram, but now he's about to eat torpedoes and pop goes the weasel. But also, down goes the shield. I'm sorry, Monarch! I shouldn't have missed the first shot. If only, if only shells didn't fall short like that every single time you need them. But, uh, Chappie here is a little bit closer. 
But uh, you'll see that he just gets predictable. And the, the, we've talked about this many a times, too. Just pay attention to what people are doing, right? You can anticipate what they're going to do by what they've done in the past. Most people are creatures of habit. They dodge a specific way. And most people don't vary it at all. For instance, one of the things that I don't do very well is change my speed when it comes to trying to dodge shells that are incoming. I will turn one way or the other. I try to mix that up, but I do try to, to change my speed, especially if I know that I've, I've done a specific dodge multiple times. Uh, but in a situation like this, this guy's, I mean, he's, he's so easy to read. And this is the difference between like just experience, right? Like you, you just, you pay attention to things. You're reading the mini map. You recognize you have the advantage. You push your advantage. You push the enemy out of their, their spot. And then you've got the crossfires. Then you pay attention to who needs help where, and you put yourself in a position to counter that. And 30, 154 base XP, top of the leaderboard, 150K, four kills in the Jean Bart, representing once again, an expert sort of map awareness game let me know what you guys think down in the comments do you agree was that a pretty good showcase of of uh spatial awareness map awareness and recognizing when you have an advantage i want to know and if you like what i'm doing punch the like button leave a comment below subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and as always i will see you in the next video